the most popular cryptocurrency in the world today, trading for around $50,000 per coin. It is Bitcoin BTC. But when did Bitcoin actually become a thing? When did it officially start? And what is its history like? Guys, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I'm going to be giving you guys the full price history of Bitcoin BTC 2009 when it first was created to 2021 where it is today trading around $50,000 per coin. Now the first thing everyone asks, what was the lowest price of Bitcoin? Well it says here, how much was Bitcoin worth when it started in 2009? When Bitcoin started out, there really wasn't a price for it since no one was willing to buy it. The first time Bitcoin actually gained value was on October 12th, 2009. A developer that helped Satoshi work on Bitcoin sold over 5,000 Bitcoins for $5.02. This gave Bitcoin a value of 0.0009 cents. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And here we have Bitcoin in 2009, the birth of a legend. Take a look at that little logo there. You guys don't recognize that logo. That was the original Bitcoin logo. There's been three official logos. The first one in 2009, the second one they came out with in 2010, and then the third one that we all know uh, has been the logo since 2011. So the big events, January 3rd, the Genesis block. The first block in the Bitcoin blockchain appears 50 BTC are generated at 1815 uh, GMT. January 3rd, 2009 is officially the birth of Bitcoin. Later that year, October 5th, the first Bitcoin course towards exchange dollar is published. $1 equals 1,309 BTC. A public sale is launched on New Liberty Standard Stock Exchange. The first known price, this is disputed and, and unconfirmed was reportedly, like I said, 0 0.0009 uh, cents per BTC. Can you believe that? And I could not find a price chart for 2009. The earliest price chart I could find was 2010. So there's going to be no price chart for 2009. But Bitcoin is created. Very few people at this point know about the coin. Moving to 2010, there you can see the second Bitcoin logo. A little bit better than the first one, but still not the one we're used to. Uh, 2010, February 6th, Bitcoin market. The first official cryptocurrency stock exchange is launched. May 22nd of that year, we know the famous online purchase of Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 BTC, which was $25 at the time, at the time, Bitcoin at the time, valued at 0.0025 cents for one coin so some dude buys two Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 BTC amazing amazing on October 1st the first public miner is created on October 7th Bitcoin exchange rate rate begins to escalate after several months stuck at six cents per BTC October 16th the first Bitcoin deposit is registered the all-time high of the coin in 2010, right around 36 cents. There you can see the overall price graph. This was the first price graph on Bitcoin I was able to find. In November, it started trending up before falling and entered the new year, January 2011, at around 30 cents per coin. Moving to 2011, January 27th, the biggest monetary transaction in Bitcoin history from three accounts in Zimbabwe, on the hash Bitcoin slash OTC, the currency value was 4 BTC to 100 trillion Zimbabwe dollars. I thought that was a funny little story. February 14th, 2011, an Austrian user puts an old Porsche on sale on a Bitcoin exchange for 3,000 BTC. April 16th, Time Magazine publishes an article about cryptocurrency. I wish I had read that article. I, in 2011, Time Magazine was actually publishing an article. When it comes to the price, it reached an all-time high of $29.58 in June. You can see it had a nice little run there in June, almost hitting $30 per coin before falling all the way down to right around $12.00. It was sitting at around $13 entering the new year. Moving to 2012, March 1st, about 50,000 Bitcoin were stolen. The biggest Bitcoin theft ever. 
In October 2012, BitPay reported having over 1,000 merchants accepting Bitcoin under its new payment processing service. Its all-time high in 2012 was $13.5, which happened late in the year, late in December. The coin performed relatively well, steadily rising throughout the 2012 year, although I will say there was very little news on Bitcoin in 2012. It was more, it's kind of, 2012 is kind of remembered as a dark year for Bitcoin. Not much really happened for the coin. Moving to 2013, February, the Bitcoin-based payment processor Coinbase reported selling $1 million worth of Bitcoin at over $22 per Bitcoin, March 28th, 2013, Bitcoin market cap surpasses $1 billion. April 1st, 2014, Bitcoin sourced new heights, reaching $100 per Bitcoin. And in November, BTC has its first official bull market. For the first time in history, Bitcoin reaches $1,000 per coin. It's all time high in 2013. $1,242 and as you can see very similar setup to 2017 where you've got the big bull run happening right at the end of the 2013 year. You can see it crossed the $1,000 mark. What, I wonder what it started at that year. It had to have started around $30 and it ended the year over $1,000. Huge year for Bitcoin in 2013. And we moved to February 10th. 2014 problems with transactions and several big stock exchange Bitcoin price decreases to $600, a historical 30% decrease. December 1st, Microsoft begins to accept Bitcoin to buy Xbox games and Windows software and the all-time high in 2014 was $980. That's fresh off of that bull run it experienced in 2013. So the all-time high happened in January of 2014 before slowly and steadily declining in price all the way up until the new year 2015 where the price set right under $500. So not a great year for Bitcoin in terms of price in 2014. Moving on January 2015, Coinbase raised $75 million as part of a Series C funding round smashing the previous record for a Bitcoin company. November 2015th, a historical date for Bitcoin. The Unicode committee adopted the Bitcoin currency symbol, an uppercase B with two vertical bars passing through it, but only visible from a top and below to be a future version of the Unicode standard, which is the current Bitcoin logo. The all-time high in 2015 was $423 in October. It mainly throughout 2015 stayed hovering right around the same price, right in between that 200 and 400 price range with the the ATH coming at $423, which happened late in the year. 2016, February, influential members of the Bitcoin community met in Hong Kong to discuss a development plan and schedule for Bitcoin scaling. April 2016, the Steam service starts accepting Bitcoin as a payment for video games and other online media. September 2016, the number of Bitcoin ATMs had doubled over the last 18 months and reached 771 ATMs worldwide, the all-time high in 2016. 2016 was another dull year, not a lot of news for Bitcoin, although it did rise in price steadily up until December, where its all-time high in 2016 was $956. There you can see another year where it goes from right around $260, $270 towards the end of the year, where it always seems to perform its best when it has its bull markets right around j just under $1,000. January 2017, after a rally for most of the second half of 2016, Bitcoin broke the $1,000 mark for the first time in three years. Media coverage leads to an influx of new users who will allegedly raise the price Price even higher. June 12th, 2017, Bitcoin exchange rate exceeds $3,000 per BTC. September 1st, 2017, Bitcoin exchange rate exceeds $5,000 per BTC. November 29th, 2017, Bitcoin price exceeds $10,000 per BTC. This was the first full-on mainstream bull run in the crypto space. December 18th, 2017, Bitcoin reaches new heights. A record high does not hit 20K. Famously, there were a few exchanges that reported Bitcoin did hit 20K, but many of them had it at around $19,500 
as its record high in 2017. You can see the mainstream bull run when it was trending on Twitter. It was going everywhere. The alts started to go to really ramp up early 2018, but Bitcoin's huge run, along with Litecoin, by the way, if you remember that correctly, Litecoin and Bitcoin boomed really late in 2017. And Bitcoin, as you can see right there, the massive bull run in December, looking at the price graph. I wonder where it started. It probably started... Back in January of 2017, sitting right around, I don't know, 800, 900 bucks. February 5th, 2018, Bitcoin's price dropped 50% in 16 days, falling below $7,000. March 14th, 2018, Google announced that it prohibits online advertising promoting cryptocurrency. November 14th, 2008, Bitcoin falls below $6,000. The all-time high in 2018 was $17,000. That happened in January, fresh off that bull run. And as you can see, 2018, when it comes to the price of BTC, as you can kind of expect after a major bull market, it was down significantly, uh, you know, going from about 17 k to under, looks like under $5,000 by t January of 2019. Moving on to 2019, and after a rough 2018, we saw Bitcoin start to rebound. From the beginning of the year, the market cap of the digital money market increased by 32% in 2019. It amounts to $165 billion. More people getting into the crypto space in 2019. A lot of optimism at this time. In May, Bitcoin price continued to rise. On May 29th, 2019, uh, the price of BTC equaled just over $8,000. At the beginning of July, the Bitcoin price rose extremely high to over $12,000, but fluctuated from $12,000 to $9,000. The all-time high in 2019 happened in the middle of the year, June, just under $13,000. As you can see, the graph depicts a nice little rise after a tough 2018 in the middle of the Ju in the middle of June, and then maybe a little bit of a fall going into January of 2020. Bitcoin looks like sitting right around. $8,000. This was a little interesting news piece that I found towards the end of 2019. YouTube bans crypto videos by mistake. A wave of YouTubers received notifications that their videos were in breach of the platform's terms of service. The move appeared to target smaller channels and publishers that focused on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency content. The Google-owned video sharing platform has since apologized for the mistake, but some crypto bloggers have complained that their videos have not been restored after several days. That happened very late in 2019. Moving on to 2020, Bitcoin loses half of its value in a two-day plunge happened March 13th. The pandemic was raging at this point. Bitcoin had been trading near the $10,000 mark in mid-February and began its major slide as the pandemic worsened. The world's most widely held cryptocurrency dropped below $4,000, knocking off half its value in over two days. And I think that is the lowest we will ever see cryptocurrency or, or ever see Bitcoin when the pandemic happened early March 2020, when Bitcoin was below $4,000 for a little bit in March of 2020. July 15th, 2020, Twitter accounts hacked by Bitcoin thieves. Crypto hackers took over the Twitter accounts of prominent users, including Bill Gates, Kanye West, Elon Musk, and Barack Obama, and many more. The Bitcoin wallet, where followers were asked to send money, received more than $118,000 before Twitter locked down all the verified accounts to shut down the scam. I'm surprised it was only that much. This it, they must have figured it out really quickly. I, I would have thought it would have been it would have been in the millions, honestly, with the way money is getting traded nowadays. Uh, August 14th, 2020, U.S. seizes Bitcoin, said to be used to finance terrorist groups. Federal agents have seized millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin that terrorist organizations were using to carry out violent campaigns, according to the U.S. Department of Justice. November 5th, 2020, U.S. government seized $1 billion in Bitcoin from dark web marketplace Silk Road. The Department of Justice announced Bitcoin was trading at around $16,000 per coin at the time in 2020. December 16th, 2020, Bitcoin passes 20 k for the first time ever, leaving 2017's all-time high price behind. On this date, Bitcoin reached a new all-time high above 20K, bypassing 2017's record price. Bitcoin's price surged in 2020, as you can see the overall chart. Once again, we get the same thing. We're seeing the bull market at the end 
of the year. Right at the end of December 2020, you look at what it's doing. It's going over 20K for the first time ever. That's the chart for 2020. Moving on to 2021, Bitcoin spikes 20%. After Elon Musk's ads, hashtag Bitcoin to his Twitter bio, that happened on January 29th. It spiked the price to $46,000 per coin. Tesla buys $1.5 billion in BTC. That raised the price to over $51,000 per coin. Tesla announced it had bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. March 24th, 2021, Tesla accepts Bitcoin as payment. Bitcoin raises close to 60k per coin and finally april 13th 2021 bitcoin hits a new all-time high above 63,000. that all-time high has since been beat i believe recently it hit around 67,000. i want to say that happened just recently but back in april it hit an all-time high bitcoin surged to a fresh new record high of more than sixty-three thousand dollars per coin as investors awaited the highly anticipated stock market debut of the cryptocurrency exchange coinbase and here are the all-time highs every year for Bitcoin starting in 2009 all the way to 2021. You can see how the price has fluctuated by year. Really remarkable stuff. Bitcoin, the king of cryptocurrency. We all expect it to hit $100,000. It's just a matter of time. We all expect it to hit half a million dollars. It's just a matter of time. We all expect it to hit a million dollars. It's just a matter of time. That's all it's going to take is time and patience. But guys, that is going to do it for the entire price history of Bitcoin. I might be able to do another another type of video like this for Ethereum if I have enough. There's just so much history and so much information on Bitcoin already, even though it's only been around for about 12 years compared to some of the other altcoins. But maybe I could do XRP or Ethereum kind of in this format where we just go throughout its entire history and look at some of the cool moments of the coin. But overall, guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.